So hello loves and welcome back to the Androgyny. Did you stop trick or treating? Um, I stopped trick or treating. Actually, I, I have not. Wait, I didn't go trick or treating last year. I went the year before. Um, yes, I fell asleep with my makeup on, and I have two little friends now. So let's let's, let's just say hi to them. Hi, pimple. Hi. Ignore that. Um, yeah. So I stopped trick or treating. Last year, I don't know if I'm going this year. I really want to get like drunk because I'm like 21, so I'm going like out, and my costume's gonna be so amazing if I can pull it off. So fingers crossed that I pull off that amazing costume that I have in mind. Uh, question number three: Favorite Halloween costume you've worn? Um, I talked about this before like four or five times, but it's my um, Simba character that I was like. 15 years ago, first time wearing makeup. Amazing, just the memory in my hand that I love. Number four, what are you going to be this year? Um, I can't say. You'll find out when we do our um, Halloween themed stuff this year. You'll find out what I'll be. It's going to be cute if I can pull it off. Um, question number five, do you like going to haunted attractions? Yes, I actually went last year. Um, I'll put my video here somewhere. Um, at the end of my video, I did show me going to a haunted trail with my sister. And I mean, you can't really see anything. It's like me freaking out and then like somebody touching my boot and like I found a cell phone on the trail. You know, I'll still be in the hero. But that's what I did. And it was cute. You could drink soup from my collarbone. I want to go to like the 13th floor, which is this like Halloween shit here in Phoenix. Um, so I want to go, but I want to go with like a big group of friends, so I'm not like shooting myself scared. Um, question number six: Vampires or werewolves? Uh, she's a vampire. She likes to suck. Okay. Vampire. Um, favorite Halloween candy? I love candy corns. Because I mean, I eat candy like year round, like Skittles and shit, but for Halloween, it's like, it feels right to eat candy corn near Halloween. So she eats Halloween. I mean, she's candy corn. Question number eight. 
do you decorate your house? Uh, yes, because um, back at my grandma's house where I, where I grew up, the house was stucco. So we used to get like spider web um, webbing and like put it across the whole house. And then like actual spiders would crawl in there. And I mean, I used to like catch them and like feed them to ants and shit because that was cool. Um, but I don't know about this year. I, I hope I'll be in like my apartment by then so I can like decorate. But um, I don't know. Depends on my roommate. Uh, question number nine. Least favorite Halloween costume. Um, I don't really have one because I do repeat myself a lot. Um, I was a vampire like 50,000 times. Least favorite. Um, I don't, this, my hair is like lopsided on one side. Do you see that? It's annoying me. So yeah, I don't have like a least favorite. I'm always like super excited. Like I have a lot of confidence in, um, what I'm gonna be, but I think for other people, I hate when like girls or lingerie with some ears, just like in Mean Girls. I'm a mouse, duh. No, that's not creative, bitch. Sit down. Um, question number 10 Have you ever repeated a costume and what was it? A uh, vampire and a ninja. I was always a ninja, I was always a vampire. I like being a ninja because I could like keep the sword and like keeping me around and just play with that shit. And I like being a vampire because I love getting the fangs and contouring. Cause you know, you contour as a vampire. Um, so yeah, I was like a pre-drag queen as a child. And I love blood. The concept of blood is so amazing to me. I'm not fucked up at all. Uh, do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do. Yes. And question number 12. Scariest Halloween. Um, I think the scariest Halloween would be. Oh my nose! My first time going into a haunted house or a haunted trail type thing. Um, when I was like sixth grade, I think it was. Um, but I was like between two cousins, and then like I kept my head down the whole time. I was like so scared because I was like my first time, and like people were like grabbing and like grabbing your feet, and it was just scary because like that was my first time, so that really scared the shit out of me to like do that for the first time. But yeah, I mean, I don't really have any scary like stories about Halloween other than like haunted house and like I never got left anywhere, I think, on knock on wood. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, so let me just address the weekdays really quick make this as fast as I possibly can. Okay. Only eight minutes. Okay, so, um, let's go back from Saturday. Saturday, Ricardo, I hope you get better. Your video was so, so short. It kind of, like, threw me, you know? Like, I was, like, getting my popcorn, getting ready to watch, and then it was, like, over. But it was cute to see you. I hope you feel better. I know you said you were sick. And... Kudos for somebody else having a pet on the channel, like, well, another cat, because I don't think anybody else has shown a cat on the channel besides me, that is my cat. Friday, I love your hair, and I'm, like, inspired by you since we've been all inspired by Friday and shit. Um, yeah, the middle part. No, I'm kidding, I need, I need this for, like, a shoot, like, an actual shoot, though, but, um, I guess it could be Ricky. Ricky Rara-esque. Do you like me now? Um, and I know what you mean about being self-employed. I really wanted to go in on this topic. And let me just say that last week I could not post because I got stuck at university and it was just a very, very bad day. Like, that night escalated a lot and it really was not fun at all and I did not have, like, not a good night. Okay, so I apologize for last week, Monday. And I'm sorry I didn't get, like, somebody to cover me, but I really thought I was going to be able to film and, like, post, but <sighs> shit happens. Oh, but, um, like you said about being self-employed, I prefer to be self-employed because, as I found out through Lucas, it's legal for people to fire you for being gay in Arizona. So, yeah, I mean, I really don't think that's going to affect me at all because... I know a couple people, I know, I know a couple people I could call, you know, if people can get online, but 
this summer has probably been one of the hardest summers of my life. Like, you know, being home, I had like everything. I had like internet, um, places. Oh, I, my grandma's house had like internet, food. Like everything was provided for me. But you know, I needed to get out of that funk. Like I need to get out of that feeling of relying on somebody. So that's why I came down and I'm still trying. Like some, it's getting really close to what I need to happen. Like. What I need to happen is getting like super close to happening and I just want it to work. So all of you, please just cross your fingers that it works. <sighs> Moving on. Thursday had no weave. And girl, I knew you was going to go in on this topic when I like randomly picked it. But um, yeah, I mean, I know what you mean about like respect and people to like taking you seriously and um, tonight, well, I started reading my text, um, yeah, like, you know, being in a small town, like, I did not want to work on my tribe because them is, like, closed-minded people, and, like, I'm, like, that's too much work for me to, like, get people to like me enough to hire me, you know, so I'm, like, no, I can't do small towns. Um, Wednesday, oh, I hope you find something too, uh, trying to look for a job, because I'm in the same boat, well, I do have a job now, but I want something better, because she don't really like her boss, <laughs> my boss can go suck a dick, um, yeah, I know how you feel, Colleen, the struggle is real. Tuesday, thank you for introducing the topic because it is important and I kind of like dumped it on you. Um, but yeah, thank you. And oh, I know about, I know what you mean by people like giving you dirty looks and shit and like being shady to you whilst you're working. And I mean, you can like, you know, put too much peroxide in the bitch's weave and like fuck it up. Um, so I wouldn't like, like Lucas said, don't fuck with nobody who does your hair, or your food, or your drinks. Like, with me, you know, I'll get people that come into the store, and, you know, I'll, like, pitch the sale or whatever, and then, like, I'm bringing them out to cash the register, and, you know, I'm, like, super fish, like, not long right now, I got, like, no makeup on, but, um, yeah, I'll, like, I'll, I'll be all done up in high heels and weave and shit, and some of the people will, like, see my name, and they're, like, oh, it's a boy, and, like, some of the guys would be, like, okay, thank you, have a nice day, sir, and it's, like, Stir my ass. Sit down. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not always fishy. I'm not saying I'm always fishy, but, like, you know, the days where you try, and you look good, and you fool people, and there's always that one douchebag who wants to point out that you're a boy. Not that it's an issue for me, you know. I don't identify with gender, but niggas be getting on my nerves. Um, um that's, that's it, I think. Did I do that right? Yeah, okay, so that's it. Um, sorry, the video is so fast and so short. I'm sorry, I'm looking so ratchet. I'm going down, I got like a minute countdown now for this video. I filmed this pretty quick. Um, but yeah, thanks, loves. Uh, we have a whole bunch of Halloween topics coming up soon, and we will have a Sunday guest coming up this Sunday, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, I'll have a better put together video next week. I'm so sorry this is going to be up late, and I'm so sorry that I'm looking the hella ratchet and not even cute, but, you know, girl, it's taking too long to get this installed, so, um, yeah, that's why. But, um, yeah. Thanks, folks. Bye.